think it's a very audience pleasing program. One interesting thing about this concert as a whole is that we have seven living composers, only four dead ones, and the program that we most recently did in March was 90% works by women composers. Now this one only has one work by a woman composer, but it's all random because I don't choose according to gender, I choose according to the music I want to do. And in this particular case, the concert came together for a variety of ways. First, there was um, a composer who, whose work we had done in the past, and I liked his music, and he suggested a piece that he said would be a New York premiere if we did it. So I thought, hmm, I like the idea of a New York premiere. We'll be doing the New York premiere of Mark Kilstoff's uh, 2022 piece called Everyone's Voice. And that's on a text by Siegfried Sassoon. It happens that we have done that text before by a different composer, Kirk Meacham. Wonderful text. At the same time, I started looking at a piece from a composer who I don't know very much. This was a man named Craig Hella Johnson. And I thought, oh, I think those two would go together well. They were both about singing. And then I knew from years past that there was a piece called I Have Had Singing. So that made a group, a longer, a short, and a longer piece, all of which were somewhat about singing, but all from different points of view. The circumstances for the piece I Have Had Singing are at least as interesting as the piece itself. Um, Ronald Blythe in 1961 visited the village, a village of only 298 people in order to record tales of the lives of English country laborers, farmers, pigmen, grave diggers, fruit pickers, and the like, vanishing breeds in the face of progress. He was startled by the harshness and beauty of their lives. And this is, in a way, an elegy for a past, a past in which everybody sang. And I think the writer is thinking that it's too bad it's not still like that with everybody singing. So that was a, an attractive idea to me. So let's go on to Rosephany Powell. We have done five or six of her works in the last three years. And of course I started because she was one of a number of composers of color and I was determined to do their works. Um, but I discovered that she had many sides to her. The predominant one is the really lively, syncopated, fun stuff, but that's not the only thing she does. She can do other things as well. Um, I just respond to her sense of rhythm and counterpoint, and uh, I think she's a good, very good composer. Well, Michael Delara is somebody we've done in the past a couple of times, and he is a great composer in that he never repeats himself. He doesn't do the same thing over and over. This piece is different from any piece we have ever done before, I think. It is a, uh, the subject matter is about discovery, and I would say it's a romantic idea about flying and the discovery and all that excitement. And what he's done with that is a rather jazzy, um, very motoric, fast moving, I don't know how other words, it's both propulsive and parts are interlocking and uh, it's difficult and it's really fun. I think right now the Delira Campers at Kitty Hawk is my favorite piece because I've just never done anything so like this and exciting. <laughs> um, then I started thinking, oh, this is the perfect place to put in some pieces that we had all prepared for March of 2020 when the pandem pandemic started. So we hadn't been able to sing them then, and they never fit in any other pro program. But I thought, I'm going to shoehorn them in right here, and they will fit fine. Then there are all the whole category of pieces that I've known for years and that we've done many times, like Design for October uh, by Irving Fine, which I absolutely love. It would be right up at the top of my top 10 favorite pieces I've ever conducted. And then the Joplin is similarly among the top 10. <laughs> Father William is just a lot, of, a lot of fun. I've known it since high school days. 
Oh yes, and then there's Andrew Rindfleisch, who we bring out his works every few years, and they're always a challenge, and they're always worth it.